नमस्कार आप सभी लोग अपने अपने घरों पर ऐसे कुशल होंगे तथा इस अनलॉक होने के बावजूद भी आप अनावश्यक रूप से नहीं घूम रहे होंगे ऐसी आशा के साथ सो स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट द अवर सिक्स लेसन लेट्स स्टार्ट द न्यू लेसन दैट इज द स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द एनिमल्स स्पेशली इन दिस लेसन वी हैव टू अबाउट द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द टिश्यूज थ्रू बिज एंड ऑर्गेनिजम इज डेवलप सो इफ वी कैन स्टार्ट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टिश्यू जनरली टिश्यू एज यू ऑलरेडी लर्न इन योर प्रीवियस क्लासेस दैन एट द सेम काइंड ऑफ द सेल्स आर गैदर्ड राइट मीन स्ट्रक्चरली और फंक्शनली दैट दे कैन कैपेबल टू फॉर्म द टिश्यूज सो दैट कंडीशन कैन ऑलवेज हेल्पफुल टू डेवलप अ डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इफ यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द indirectly the group of one or more type of cells which are physically linked and has to similar origin and their specialized functions along with the interactions means they all are similarly so that is known as tissue if we talk about the tissues means the microscopic study of these tissues that is known as histology means sometimes we can say sometimes the branch of dealing with the tissue study that is the histology if you can say about the father of histology right the father of histology was paul mayer but the tissue word is given by bichat so it is important to all of us right but sometimes the bichat is also known as the father of animal histology right so with the help of this we can understand about such type of things especially if we talk about the some extra cellular fluid most as we know that all animals have the narrow space around them and the fluid between them are around them. that is known as extra cellular or the intracellular fluid it can play a vital role in the movement of the various substances across the cells means this can be always helpful but on the other hand we can say especially <coughs> this tissues can play very most important thing means there is sometimes we can say the intracellular materials or the fluid forms environment of the cells the cells receive almost all the materials which can required from the intracellular fluid and the transfer it it's waste material again in the fluid one or we can say the cells tissues organs and organ systems split it up into the work in a way that the exhibits division of the liver and the contribute the survival of any body or whole organisms so on the basis of that these tissues these animal tissues can be classified in four categories especially we can say the epithelial tissue muscular tissue connective tissue and the nervous tissue right so on the basis of this we can capable to study all these things especially we have to come the first type of tissue that is known as epithelial tissue as we can say the epithelial tissue or the epithelium itself says about that epi means the upon right the nipple the thallium means the nipple one means the that substance which can covers both external and internal surface means these tissue are found on the both surfaces on the external as well as in the internal of any surface of animal body or we can say the epithelial tissue has a free surface which faces either a body fluid on the outside environment thus it can be always help for the provide the covering of a linen for some part of the our body if we talk about the characteristics of this epithelial tissue right especially the different characteristics are found but before you have to know that this epithelial word was given or drawn by the fredrick and the rage right generally they can just give um, their structures their different layers that epidermis that is ectoderm Siloamic cavity that is mesoderm and the epithelial lining that is the endoderm one. So we have to know about the different characteristics of this epithelial tissue over here. So on the basis of the characteristics, especially we can say the cells are completely arranged. Means they are completely, they are very tightly packed over there. Generally, the intracellular spaces are narrow. 
that is 20 to 30 nanometer wide between over there as well as we can say that the adjacent cells are held together by the intracellular junctions as well as the epithelial tissue lies on the thin non-cellular basement membrane right if we talk about this basement membrane right especially as you can see over there that they are the epithelial rest on thin non-cellular membranes right that is called the basement membrane it has a different structure different material through which it is made up of it may be outer or the inner layer over there or we can say some other characters the blood vessels are not present in the epithelial tissues means generally blood vessels are not found into the epithelial tissues evenly the materials are exchanged by the diffusion between the epithelial cells and the blood vessels of the connective tissues across the basement membrane or we can say the nerves endings may be penetrate the epithelial tissues also or if we talk about there are some specific type of structures of this epithelial tissue we can say <coughs> that junctions between the epithelial cells with how the different cells can be are arranged together in that particular conditions we can say there are some intracellular junctions are found over there they may be included tight junctions gap junctions desmosomes intracellular bridges and integrations over there so if we talk about first one that is known as tight junction means where these epithelial cells are attached to each other so with the help of that we can say tight junction which especially in that conditions the plasma membrane in the apical regions of the adjacent epithelial cells become tightly packed together and we can say these junctions check the flow of the materials between the cells and the called the occluding junctions also if we talk about adhering junctions especially in that particular conditions the facilitates the cementing the process so to keep the neighboring cells together, they include the desmosomes over there. Evenly, the another thing that sometimes they can be included desmosomes as well as the hemidesmosomes. Right? If we talk directly, desmosomes they are the thick and strong junctions. They serve as the anchoring, <coughs> anchoring of the functions. I mean, generally they can be always help to attachment over there. Or we can say the gap junctions are also found over there. So they are the fine hydrophil hydrophilic channels between the adjacent cells formed with the help of the protein and the cylinders for the connex, right? And they help in the chemicals exchange between the adjacent cells and the, hence are called the communicating junctions over there. If we talk about the different types of the this epithelial tissues generally these epithelial tissues are in different ways they can be found in different structures first of all they may be we can say simple squamous epithelial tissue right then another type of structures they we can say the cuboidal columnar ciliated and pseudodorso dose transferred as well as the compound epithelial tissues are also found that is stratified and keratinized and non keratinized and non stratified so there are different types of these tissues are found over there so we all have to just talk about all such type of tissues over there first of all we have to talk about the simple epithelial tissues generally the simple epithelial tissues are again classified in different categories right that is squamous cuboidal and columnar ciliated and pseudo stratified epithelial tissues are in that categories if we talk about in detail about this epithelial tissue especially we have to know that how these epithelial tissues can work over there so first of all we can say that simple epithelial tissues are made up of a single layer of the compactly arranged cells which are rest over a non-cellular basement membrane as i taught in the previous one evenly it can occurs over a moist surface where the little wear and the tear occurring occurs by the reactions also so this process can be found and these epithelial tissues generally always helpful for the absorption secretion diffusion and movement of the material through them if we can talk about 
the details studies of this simple epithelial tissues in which the first that is called the simple squamous epithelial tissue as you can see in the diagram over there so this simple um, tissue can say some special kind of things over there generally if we talk about their structures their locations and their functions basically while you are going to make your notes you must uh, take attention especially all these things means uh, on the structures how they are formed and the location where they are found and what about their functions mean what are the different and specific functions they perform in our body so you all must write all these things in your notes over there so first of all we have to talk about the this simple squamous epithelial tissue if we talk about the this squamous tissue that squamous or squama meaning is that the scale right so on the basis of that we can say they can be always found by a single layer of the closely fitted flattened polygonal cells which forms bulges on the cell of the surfaces mean they are always on the surface of the any organisms right or we can say these cells are always held together by the various type of junctions mainly tight junctions as in previous we had talked about that that the tight junction means the plasma membrane uh, in the apical region of the adjacent is cell becomes tightly packed together so they will always help for the making the tight junctions over there so they can be always found into the simple squamous tissue over there or we can say the the cells of squamous epithelial appears just like a tiles right if you can just watch the floor right where the tiles are fitted if you can see the wall of uh, where the tiles are fitted j j the alignment of these simple squamous tissue is also seen just like them or we can say the cells of this squamous tissue is just appearing like a tile floor or we can say they are also known as pavement epithelium means if we talk about directly their structures you can see the arrangement of the tiles over there so with the help of this we can easily understand over this one on on the other hand we can also say the talk about the locations where these are the found over there means where these uh, cells are found over there where this squamous epithelium are found over there we can directly say the squamous epithelial tissues are found or occurs in the alveoli of the lungs bowman's capsule helen loop of the unifestibules pericardial cavity abdominal cavity laying of the various components of blood vascular system they generally they are found over all these type of places where this simple squamous epithelial tissues is found if we talk about their functions they can play the very vital role in our body especially if we can talk about their performs the especially about the protections excretions gas exchange and the secretion of the cytomic fluid over there right so they can do all these functions over there in different ways and sometimes then we have to talk about the next that is called simple cuboidal epithelial tissue means simple cuboidal epithelial tissue can also found in that conditions right so if we talk about this that it is always composed of a single layer of the cube like cells as the word itself say cuboidal mean the cube like cells the epithelial overlies on the basement membrane and nucleus is rounded and placed centrally the free surfaces of the cells may be smooth or bare microvilli the <coughs> microvilli increases the surface area of the free ends of the cell by the many times we can say I mean generally they can have uh, different layers on the surface where their the macrobilis are found over there and we can say if we talk about their locations where they are found generally the simple cuboidal epithelial tissues are found in in the ducts of the glands tubular parts of the nephrons especially in the kidneys ovaries seminiferous tubules of the testis means especially it is found over in all such type of places over there so you all have to know about this one if we talk about the function especially the, this tissue this simple 
cuboidal epithelium tissues then perform the for the production secretions absorption excretion and gamete formation over there so then there is another type of simple epithelial tissue that is the known as the simple columnar epithelium tissue means on the basis of columnar epithelial tissue we can say that the it can composed of a single layer of a tall and slender cells a single oval or the elongated nucleus is situated near the base of these cells as you can see the diagrams right you can just see the diagram on the basis of diagram you can capable to understand easily the about the basement membrane and about the pillar like structure over there column like structure over there means this column like structure can explains about this simple columnar epithelial tissue that's why i am saying you that the composed of the single layer of the tall and slender cells means if we talk about their cells structures you can say they are a tall one this is the cell these are the cells over there and they are attached with the help of a simple structures of basement membrane where they are attaching over there so they can be found over there as well as we can say a single oval of the elongated nucleus situated near the base of the cells means if you can say or you can see the diagram of these simple columnar cells especially where you can see that the then single oval elongated nucleus is situated near the base of the cells and some of its cells produce mucus called the globulate cells means generally these cells can capable to provide a mucus structure over there so some they are also known as globulate of the cells and the simple columnar epithelium they can be always found means if we talk about the locations they can be found in different places especially we can say stomach small and large intestine digestive glands stomach intestine pancreas and gallbladder over there means they can be found over there if we talk about they can also found in some special places they, we can say the breast border columnar epithelium occurs in the gallbladder right the mucus secreting globulate cells are found into the lining layer of the stomach intestine and respiratory tract or if we talk about their functions their functions are most important especially they can be always helps in the secretion absorption production and components of the most glandular epithelial tissue means generally they are found into the glandular epithelial tissue as we have already learned about them let's move the another type of the epithelial tissue simple epithelial tissue that is the simple ciliated epithelial tissue it the name itself explain about this simple ciliated epithelial tissue means we can say if the column, columnar or cuboidal cells bear the cilia means if the previous one the columnar cells and the cuboidal cells they both contains the cilia on their free surfaces they may be known as the ciliated epithelial tissue or they move particles or mucus in the specific directions over the epithelium the epithelium lies over a basement membrane the number of cilia varies in the different cellular forms in the sensory cells of the internal ear and the cilium compared to the num number of the storage cilia means especially if we talk about this simple ciliated tissues they can be generally found in different places right we can say they can found especially as we can say the number of cilia varies in different cellular forms it can be sensory internal layer or cil cilium accompanies accompanies we can say the number of the storage cilia or we can say this epithelial is two types especially this epithelial tissue are two types right ciliated columnar and ciliated cuboidal as i have already told you whenever this ciliated can be found over there means generally when the cilia are developed on the different kinds of tissues or different types of cells of the epithelial tissue it may be cuboidal epithelial or the columnar epithelial means whenever they can be also classified on the basis of this one if the cilia are developed in the columnar epithelium means it can be possess to columnar cells and possess cilia over the free surfaces and it occurs especially in the respiratory tract fallopian tubes 
parts of the uterus and cervix and the different tubules of the testis it is easy and if we talk about the ciliated cuboidal epithelial it can has the cuboidal or the cubical cells that bear cilia on their free surfaces it occurs in many parts of the epidema of the nervous system and the parts of the uniferous tubules if we talk about the function of this <coughs> simple ciliated epithelial the epithelial maintains a flow of the mucus liquid of the suspended particles constantly in one direction in the oviducts cilia help in the movement of the eggs towards the uterus in the respiratory tract cilia help to push the mucus towards the pharynx in the nephrons of the kidney cilia keep the urine moving right and in the nervous system cilia of the ventricles of the brain and the central canal of the spinal cord help in the circulations of the cerebro spinal fluid and there is another thing that we can say the pseudo dorso stratified epithelium the most important we can say the another type of which can be found over there means this pseudo stratified epithelium tissue means it is also type of simple epithelium tissue so if we can talk about this one especially this pseudo stratified epithelium tissue can do a specific role over there so we can say that epithelium one cell thick but appears two layer because of all cells do not reach the free surfaces means due to their structure formation they can be shown the pseudo one and we can say these cells are attached to the basement membrane hence we can say they are the called pseudo dorso stratified one means due to their structure their formations one sometimes we can say the mucus secreting globulets cells also occur in this epithelium or we can say the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium the pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium means again they can be classified in two categories cuboidal and the columnar so we can say it especially in the pseudo stratified columnar tissue epithelial tissue it has the columnar cells without cilia means their cilia are not present over there because ciliated columnar we have already learned about that one so it lies the large ducts of the certain glands like the petroid salivary gland and the urethra of the human male especially it can bind over there or we can say the pseudo stratified ciliated columnar it can be this has columnar cells with the with the cilia one or we can say they have a free surface over there where the cilia are attached over there but the short cells are without cilia also or we can say the epithelium lines the trachea and the large bronchi the moment of its cilia push the mucus laden the dust particle and the bacteria towards the larynx so if we talk about the function of this pseudo stratified epithelium help in the production moment of secretion from the glands urine and semen in the urethra and the mucus loaded in the dust particles and the bacteria in the trachea so as we have talked about the epithelial tissue in which we are today we have talked only simple epithelial tissue especially about the different types of the tissues in which we have just talked about especially the simple epithelial tissue in which we talk the squamous epithelium right their structure their functions and the simple columnar epithelium simple ciliated epithelium after that we have to talk about the pseudo stratified epithelium so students you must compare you must complete your notes within this one and in next period we have to talk about the most second part of this chapter or second part of this tissue that is known as the compound epithelial tissue now so please note down your work you must prepare your notes Thank